Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. So we're starting a new run here. Um, it's a sandbox mode. I've gone through most of it already because you don't need to see that again. It's mostly just a, a high levels, high zombie count, very rare loot run. This is really the only options I changed. Loot has been shifted from rare to very rare. Zombies have been changed from normal to high. But I'm going to go as a security guard who is a lazy, kind of overweight security guard who uh, who is now caught in the zombie apocalypse. So I took unfit, which is going to be real rough. High thirst, overweight, which hopefully will burn off over time. Slow healer, prone to illness, hemophobic, weak stomach, hypochondriac, slow reader. It's also night owl from being a security guard. And then I took some, tried to take things that kind of made sense. I took thick skinned because I just like playing with thick skinned. I know it didn't quite fit the mold here. Um, but then I've got organized, fast learner, cook, amateur mechanic, lucky, inconspicuous, and dexterous. I tried not to take some of my, you know, my normal ones, which are like stout and stuff. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. The uh, the overweight trait is going to be a bit of a problem, but hopefully we can burn it off. There is an obese trait, but I feel like that was too much. I like a challenge, but not that much of a challenge. I still have some of the I still have the uh, map mods installed, but that's pretty much it in terms of mods. So we might try to go over the river because that's always kind of a cool place. Because we're starting in West Point, by the way. I'm not sure if I said that. All right. Where are we in town is the big question. Oh, a duffel bag right off the top. That's nice. Uh, I'll take the sheets. Take the rounds. Oh, I'm in the... I'm in the... I know where we are. We're in the hotel. Or the motel. Hotel motel. some hiccups here. You know what actually, weirdly enough, is causing the hiccups is that I have locked the frame rate. Uh, where is the frame rate? I've found that if I leave it uncapped, it doesn't hiccup as much. But maybe that may actually be an incorrect thing, but uh, it seems like it's still hiccuping a little bit. Dead rats. Alright, nothing here. Just a bathroom. Oh, I should probably take those two painkillers. Oh, we should do the kitchen probably before we do anything else because that's where a little bit of food that's available will be. Also possibility of, yep, butter knife. That's what I was hoping for. pie. Oh, I need to not eat all the time. I've gotten used to playing with the uh, underweight trait, which is the less, kind of the less troublesome of the two. You know, the flip sides of each other. And you always want to just gorge yourself with the underweight trait, because but now we're like uh, we're at 95 kgs. We gotta bring it down to at least 85, I think. I believe it's like uh, 80, 75 to 85, I believe, is normal weight, quote unquote, in the game. Taking these sheets for for f the future place wherever we set up shop for the evening, that we will actually have a, a ability to um, protect ourselves. I don't need all of these sheets, though. Now, I think that. Because this is our first building, I'll take one more sheet. Um, there should be no zombies inside of it, unless they break in while we're doing this. I think. Whoops. Oh, crap. Oh, that was... Way to go, dude. Way to go. <laughs> so much for having a weapon. Clicked the wrong button. Caused her to attack with it. Broke it on the wall. Oh, normal hiking bag. 
Okay. Now we only have a storage of 12 as opposed to my normal like 15 or 17. Which is, you know, not great, but... What happens when you're unfit? Right, toothpaste. Not probably going to be a lot left in the rest of this place. I wonder if it would be a good idea to try and make it to the... I'm starting to hear zombies. It would be a good idea to try and make it to the um, hardware store right away. First aid kit, I should take that. So we might try that uh, when we get out of here. We are inconspicuous, so we might be able to pull it off. That's outside. I'm not going to open that door. Uh, I see some keys and some vehicles in the back parking lot. Zombie. I would have felt better about doing this if we had actually not destroyed our one weapon on the wall. But let's see. I'll just sneak around this way. They are inconspicuous, so hopefully they don't really see us. I am sneaking, by the way. I know you can't really tell because I don't have a weapon. This one zombie is on us. She'll lose track of us. Is that? No. I thought that went. I thought that door was shaking for a second, but it's not. I'll close that, please. Just need to take all this stuff, please, please, please. My child is very sick. Nope, nothing useful. Alright, please only be one zombie. I think you can get into the... Oh, that back door is breasted. Hey, watch. I think you... Yeah, I think this goes into the hardware store, if I'm not mistaken, so... Come on, lady, fall over. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll close the door. Oh, well, that didn't work. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, we're on this side of the door. Not exactly what I meant to, but it'll work. Alright. Is this the hardware store? It is the hardware store. Good. Alright, let me go ahead and equip this secondary here. Because we're going to be getting a little little crazy. I, should I did close it. Okay. All right, I need to focus here. Oh, hunting knife, I saw you. Where are you? There you are. Sweet, wee, sweet hunting knife. Axes. Axes are the top priority. Wood glue, I guess, is good as well. Take a box of nails. In fact, I'm not going to pick anything else up until I find an axe. Crowbar, hammer. Oh, please tell me there's going to be an axe in here. It's going to be a super bummer if this whole if there's actually not an axe in this building. Take 
take these books for now. Metal working books. We have a hunting knife, so it's not a it wasn't a complete loss here, but I'm gonna re this could be really it's really sad if there's no no, no axe in here. Really? No axe at all? I'll need to check this here, but I'm pretty sure that that's a true statement. I don't think I've ever come to a hardware store and not had at least one axe in it. Checking again. This is how much I disbelieve it. I'm gonna take this shovel. Glue too. I guess I'll go ahead and take a hammer now. Crowbar. Trowel. And we got some good stuff here. I guess I should take a fishing rod since we're here and a tackle. Yep. Nope. Well, that's too bad. Alright. Sorry, I left you out there by yourself. So we got some good food here. I need to find a water bottle of some variety. Hello. Here they come. Alright, next. Yep, I know I'm getting thirsty. This will give us a little bit of thirst. Thirst busting. Need a, need a bottle. Need a bottle. All right, let's go. I feel like maybe it's a bad idea to stay in this part of town, but you know what? Actually, you know what we're gonna do. Since we're here, we're so close, and the zombie populations haven't really crystallized yet. We're gonna try to go to the police station. Because the longer we take to do that, the harder it's going to be. Fossil oil car. Oh! That was lucky. I was totally not paying attention. I was looking at the vehicles in the parking lot. Of course, we can't get into the... Can't get into the, uh, what am I trying to say? There's a corpse in the trunk. <laughs> Can't get into the back room where the guns are, unless we get lucky and find the keys. I like this, like, one zombie hears a stab each time we do it. Some crates in here. Oh, never mind. A couple more than one zombie heard a stab that time. Oh god. Don't mind me, just... Oh, she's so slow. <laughs> Just passing through. Well, we won't be going to the police station anytime soon. S 
so many zombies. <laughs> So let's come this way. God, they hear it from so far out. I'm just trying to trying to get clear yet. We're already like our exertion level's already at moderate. We barely run at all. all right, we're gonna try and hook around these trees here. lose as many of them as we can. I'm making some progress here. Let's go this way. So these back doors are unlocked. Cut through the building, that would probably work real well. There's gonna be a bunch of zombies around this corner, I know it. Yep. <laughs> I thought we were so clever. Excuse me. I want this door. I'd like to go in this way? No. Okay. Stupid locked doors. It's a good thing we have at least an acceptable weapon. This would be much more difficult. Alright, so let's pull back here. Riverside map, walkie talkie. Alright, the majority of the zombies are still heading that direction. Maybe we can get in here. I still need a, a water bottle. Cigarettes, orange soda, there you go. That is now a water bottle. The noise, the noise. Yeah, I see you there. Oh, lighter. Always good to have one of those. I don't know when you might need to burn something down. Let's check the back room real quick. Lady will break that window anytime now. Alright, nothing of use there. Okay, so let's take stock here. Most of the zombies are still heading out that way. Suppose we should investigate these cars. Hey lady, you wanna come out here? Can't push her from there. Alright, well let's go around to her. Excuse me, dude. Put down my knife for a second. <laughs> I don't have time for you. 
There you are. Doors are always a little finicky in this game. Alright, so let's try and get the pizza world clear. Still. Are there two of you? No, just the one. For some reason I thought I could see a second one. So Zolex walks. Oh. Two people in the bathroom. What were you guys doing in here? Looks like there's a broken door back there. Key to something. I'm worried about there being way more zombies back out there than. Oh, there's just a broken window, not a broken door. Yeah, I'm worried about there being way more zombies out there than I think there are. And opening that door and being swarmed. Instead, we're gonna do this and hope they don't break in while I'm. Butter knife, yes, please. Ooh, a dead rat. Yeah. Thought I could get away with the one at a time game, but. They beat my one at a time ba game by going around the corner. Going through the window instead. Alright. Push. Stab. Step. Push. Stab. Step. Step. Uh, stab. Step. <laughs> it's like a dance mode. Push and stab and step and stab and push and stab. Okay. Man, they're still coming. Can't believe they're still being led by that, uh, that sound that hasn't been going on for several minutes now. Just get these three out of the way. I want to check out these cars, but I can't with these zombies in my way. Alright. You look like you're in pretty good shape. 61%. With no gas. The gas tank's actually in pretty bad shape. Probably will leak if you did it. Whose key is this? Oh, locked. the trunk at least. Oh, there's the key for it. Yep. Oh, no gasoline. What quality are you though? Sixty three percent. Gas tank's in pretty good shape. Brakes. Doors. So most of the damage here is, seems to be relatively, well, battery and engine. I was going to say relatively um, surface level, but that's not actually true. Four zombies down there. We need to be aware of them. Nothing in the trunk. Some 
cigarettes. No gas in this guy either. Also, it looks like the trunk, the, the check engine light was on, so I'm going to guess that the engine's not in very good shape either. Yeah. That's too bad. Alright, well, these things have quieted down a little bit. No key. Sixty percent. No gas. <clears throat> Anything in the trunk? How about you? Alright, I think I'm going to stop here for today. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.